he has made it clear that um, we don't always know why they're promoting one study over another. And sometimes in the news you hear one study says this, and another study says that. And a lot of people throw up their hands and say, well, I'll just eat whatever I want, because one day they're saying this, the next day they're saying the opposite. So it's important to look at the trends, large trends, multiple studies, and most people don't take that time and effort to do that. And the study design, the number of people in the study, and so on. So when you have what's called a meta-analysis, that means they've looked at multiple studies and tried to pull the data and come up with some conclusions. And so a meta-analysis of over 130,000 people, 130,000, okay? Sometimes you might hear about a study on the news that says, such and such is good for you. You don't know if that was done in 20 people, 50 people, 100 people, and you don't know the study design. So if you want to know the study design of, or these studies, you would have to go to Lancet, which is mentioned there. It's a medical journal in 2003. Line 361, pages 217 to page 23. And then that article would list all the studies they looked at, and then you would go look at all those studies. So it's a huge process. Um, so, anyway, um, that's why you want to get good resources that have put some of this data together. Because obviously, I go look at all the studies, but I. I so now, okay.